Good morning guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am home for the weekend, um, it is the week before the show. I just thought I'd vlog a little bit of this weekend to see what I get up to. Um, but yeah, we've had a little bit of change in plans. So, so far my Saturday hasn't quite gone as expected. Um, I'm getting my hair done at 12 and I was aiming to sleep in until 11, go get my hair done, come back, have some breakfast, go train, chill, you know, just not really do too much to be honest. And this morning at 8am, my blind that's above my bed decided to um, detach itself from the wall and fell on me. Yeah, so I've been awake since eight. Um, I've also found out that my evening gown for the show isn't gonna be here in time. So I am now gonna go and see if I can find a dress from somewhere, then go and get my hair done and then train and then maybe sort of find a dress and you know, it's just been an absolute nightmare and not only that I woke up with like the appetite of a mammoth today so I've already eaten 500 calories out of my 1300 so that gives me 800 calories left for the rest of the day wish me luck guys okay here we go the first shop that I'm going to see if I can get the dress of my dreams from. Oh, is it open? Is it open? I think I might be in luck. No! What? Right, guys. Does this not say Saturday, 10 a.m.? Human. Right, let's try another one. I think that was actually a wedding dress shop. Anyway, so I don't think I'm at, I would have been able to get anything from there anyway. Right, number two. Here we go. I've got 40 minutes now to get to the other shop and see what we can do there. This is a nightmare, like this is not what I wanted to do today. Let's shop number three. I am coming for you. Oh, prom dress is now available. I mean, no, I'm not going to prom, but I mean, that's the kind of look I'm going for, I think. Duh, my shoelaces are come undone. And again, no luck. I mean, I tried on like a gorgeous dress, like it really was a gorgeous dress, like a dark blue, pretty much exactly what I wanted, but Unfortunately, I am so damn small now that like the back that was supposed to be like a low back to like the bottom of, you know, like the top of your bum, bottom of your back. Um, I need to get my car key. Uh, note to self, take your handbag off of your hand before you try and get in the car. Um, yeah, the, the low back of it just came down just like a little bit too low. Well, I say a little bit too low. It was hanging off my bottom. But yeah, the woman literally just went to me. That's why you don't buy online. Yeah, I know, hun. I know that now, but right now, don't really need to be told what I've done wrong. I just sort of need help. So can you just like, shh and help me, please. <sighs> Guys, I'm so stressed out. Am I gonna get a dress? So I've literally just come into McDonald's for a coffee and a Diet Coke and I need food. Lovely. Yeah. We're here. Got to get this mark sorted and I've got my new train. So the hair is done. Yay! Um, literally, I feel horrendous. 
like horrendous. So I'm gonna go home, have something to eat, and then maybe take a nap out in the sun because I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I feel so shit, it's unbelievable. So I've just got back from the hairdressers and I've got a jacket potato cooking in the microwave, but because I just couldn't wait until tonight. I don't actually know how much of this I'm allowed today. So if I eat this tub and I just sort of like have to sacrifice some potato, and that's what I'm just gonna have to do. Because things are getting really tough. My dog is peeking at me. Hey, babe. You want some ice cream? Here you go. Hey, baby. Isn't he the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? You know, in the summer, we used to share tubs of Ben and Jerry's together. But now, do you want to share a gem lettuce with me, Rock? Nine days. Food time. I've got 100 grams of haddock, 100 grams of potato. I literally, I was just so lazy, I just threw it in the microwave. 50 grams of asparagus and just like some leaves and stuff like gem lettuce. You enjoying your ice cream, babe? And YouTube. This is my dad. Am I going live on YouTube? Yeah. I'm the man. I'm <laughs> the father of that. <laughs> As you can see, stunning resemblance. <laughs> Come to YouTube, mummy. Hello! It's getting to that point in this tub of ice cream where I think I'm actually going to have to give it to Rocky to stop me from eating the whole thing. I really don't want to, but I really want to eat it. Do you really want it? Can I have it? Can I have a paw first? Good boy. That one? Good boy. Give me a high five. High five. Come on. Yeah. Look at your nose. <laughs> Rock, why are you so cute? You're so cute. So yeah, we just got ourselves ready to go to the gym, as you can see, and it was shut. Oops.
love being at home. I absolutely love it. And I thought coming home the week before the show would be amazing just to help me and like de-stress and stuff. And my parents, like, they're so amazing and they'll literally do everything that they can to just help. But sometimes helping the only help that you want, I guess, is just to be left alone. That's not like me at all. I can't actually explain to you guys like how hard this has been. I'm now at a point where just somebody asking me if I'm okay annoys me. It's, it sounds so stupid and pathetic, but I'm sort of like, well, no, you know I'm not okay. So why are you asking? I'm just so tired. And I'm just so hungry <laughs> as well. I've only got eight days to go. <sighs> I have, like, I have to be honest, like, in comparison to some of the girls I've spoken to and you know some of the friends that I've made along the way like my my prep it has been pretty damn easy compared to those those girls like they don't ever ask you if you'll do it again when you're feeling really good when you're feeling really lean and you know you've just had your refeed they only ask you if you'll do it again when you're feeling shit. <laughs> and it, it really, like, it feels to me like they just want you to say no, never, never gonna do it again. But the truth is, like, you know, these, these down days, I've had more up days and more I feel amazing days. Than, than, than I've had down days. Right now, I don't know if I'll do it again. I don't have that answer. I could be lucky enough to win the show, but still never actually want to put myself through this again. Or I could not place, but I could come off stage and I could feel absolutely amazing and not wait to get back up and do it again and go to win it next time. Like, I don't know. I don't know what what I'm gonna what I'm gonna be like when when the show's over. But all I do know is that I'm gonna have a teach on Fridays straight after. So it's 10 p.m. and I'm gonna get an early night now. Um, I've eaten everything that I can eat. <laughs> have a nice lie in tomorrow. And also, my parents are eating ice cream downstairs. So I thought, cause you know, sanity, I best just remove myself. So yeah, gonna go to bed. Night night. Good morning. So, made it to peak week. What? <laughs> so I'm gonna get up, go do my check in for Harry, and then go sit in the cell, and then I've got to train and do copious amounts of cardio. My breakfast that mum made me two little egg muffins. Hey! Um, and I've also got a bowl of oats here because it's refeed day. Tis cardio time. Hello. Don't know about anybody else, but the sun just makes me feel. Oh, oh mum. Literally just makes me feel like a brand new person. And I know I've said this in many a video, but mum will agree, won't you, mum? I will agree. And I've just dropped my phone. Have you smashed it? No. Lucky, isn't it? Very. So we're gonna go see Theo and Ellis now and then literally not do anything else for the rest of the afternoon. 
sunbathe. Sunbathe and like eat some like rice cakes because that's what I love to do. <laughs> Mum, I think you eat some rice cakes if you're not careful. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if you guys couldn't tell already. Um, such a shiny face today. Um, yeah, feeling so, so, so much better today. Um, I had a really, I had about 10 hours kip, which was quite nice. Uh, 10 hours sleep. Um, had a nice big breakfast, which was really good. Got my cardio done. The sun is out. Refeed day. So I'm just feeling so much better. Just knowing I'm getting a bit more food today just makes I've got seven days to go. This time, I think, almost. Like, I'll be like getting my hair and makeup done. What? Yeah. Oh, I've been dieting for 20 weeks. That's the longest diet I have ever done in my life, ever. I don't think I've ever actually managed to stick to a diet more than like six weeks before. I'm really damn proud of myself. and I managed to eat a packet of salt and crisps and a Kit Kat. This is why I live as a hermit on prep because I cannot be controlled. So when I was in the car moaning about the fact that my legs were on fire, my mum was being a little bit cute and amazing and returned from Argos with a present. That's going to be it from me in this vlog. I am now on the way back to London on the train. So, I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a weekend in the life of me on the last week of prep. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for my peak week vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.